In this section, we're going to have a look at how to integrate in-app messages. We'll start with explaining some key concepts that are relevant for in-app messages before showing you how to integrate them into your application. The Brace UI library offers certain default in-app message types. For example, slide up view, modal view, and HTML view. All default in-app messages are classes that conform to the protocol in-app message view. If you create a custom in-app message view, then it is important that your custom view conforms to the in-app message view protocol. You can find more information about the in-app message view protocol by clicking on the link on this slide. The picture on the right-hand side shows how Brace's in-app messages are structured. In order to display Brace standard in-app messages, our project requires the Brace UI library. We also need to configure and use the Brace in-app message UI. We have added the Brace UI library to our app earlier in this course, which we can check by clicking on our project name on the left-hand side. Then click on your app under Targets and look for Framework, Libraries and Embedded Content under the General tab. You should find Brace UI there. If not, please click on the plus icon to add. Next, we will configure the Brace in-app message UI object required for displaying in-app messages. Open your app delegate.swift file and locate the code import brace kit. You should find this at the top of your app delegate file. Here, we're going to check that we are also importing the Brace UI library, as this is required for the implementation of in-app messages. If import Brace UI is not present in your app delegate, then please add it now. Next, within the app delegate, we need to add code to initialize the Brace in-app message UI and set it on the Brace instance in-app message presenter, which is the Brace presenter used for in-app messages. To do this, we're going to copy the code visible under step three and paste it under the comments add Brace in-app message UI object and set it on the Brace instance in-app message presenter here. Next, we're going to log on to the Brace dashboard and create an in-app message campaign. We're going to select the in-app message type slide up and we'll set the trigger to start session. After you've set up your campaign, you can launch your campaign. We're now ready to run our Xcode project and verify that the in-app message is displayed when you open up the application. The in-app message should be displayed at session start. Click on the play button in Xcode to run your project. As we can see in our app, we have successfully displayed a brace in-app message of type slide up. However, the slide up is currently blocking our buttons at the bottom of the screen. We're going to change this behavior in the learning exercise on the next slide. We're going to change the standard behavior of a slide up in-app message so that the slide up no longer blocks our menu at the bottom of our screen. In order to achieve this, we need to customize the slide up in-app message view. The Brace SDK supports customization of in-app message views by changing the view attributes before presenting the in-app message to the user via in-app message prepare with method. Some examples of changing in-app message view attributes are increasing of the slide up image size by setting the attribute image size and the allowing of the modal to be dismissed by tapping the views background by setting the dismiss on background tab attribute to true. A full list of attributes that you can change for in-app message views is available in our documentation. There are several steps required to customize an in-app message. We first need to extend our applications app delegate and implement the in-app message prepare with method. We then need to set our in-app message delegate. The delegate allows us to customize the presentation of in-app messages and react to various lifecycle events. For example, display choice for message, did dismiss, will present, and other events. We then need to detect the type of in-app message. This is optional, but recommended. And finally, we want to change the bottom margin attribute for slide ups. In order to customize the presentation of in-app messages, we need to extend our application's app delegate to conform to the Brace in-app message UI delegate. 
We also need to implement the in-app message prepare with method. Your app delicate.swift file has already been prepared to support the customization of in-app messages. Please verify that the following code is present in your app delicate file. We now need to set the in-app message delicate to tell the Braze SDK that we want to receive triggered in-app message payloads for further processing. Within your app delicate.swift file, locate the following piece of code. Here, we're going to set the delicate on the in-app message UI instance by inserting the following code just before the braze.inapp message presenter equals in-app message UI. Your Brace in-app message UI code should now look like this. When customizing in-app messages, some customization might only be required for a specific type of message. For example, in our case, we only want to change the behavior of a slide up message. Other in-app messages, such as modal or full screen in-app messages, shouldn't receive this customization. In order to achieve this, we'll start with adding some code that will help us to detect the type of in-app message we receive, for example, slide up, modal, or others. In this example, we look for the in-app message type slide up or modal and execute code based on what type of in-app message is returned. Within the app delicate.swift file, you will see comments that specify where the type of in-app message detection should be added. Look for the comment add conditional logic for in-app message here. You should find this at the bottom of your app delicate.swift file. Finally, we will add the code required to set the bottom margin for our slide up message. We can customize the slide up view using the attributes property. In this instance, we'll set a value of 55, but this serves as an example only. Margins should typically be set dynamically by using, for instance, a percentage of the screen rather than a static value that we're using in this example. Within your app delicate.swift file, you will again see the comment that specifies where you should add the code. Look for the comment add margin attribute here. It's now time to run our project and verify that the in-app message slide up is no longer blocking our menu bar.